gotta be hard on you, eh? The adults taking care of the kids. No disrespect, son. It is. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Thanks. Let's go have a friendly talk with Kenny. I'm sure this will be a peaceful conversation. You need to stop the train. Doug's just about gone back there. Doug's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. Fight him. You're acting like nothing's wrong. And somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. Need you. Ah, I can't choose anything. You don't even have a child. You don't know what this is like. You fucker. Uh, You're not helping my family. You're not helping Clementine. You're not helping anybody. Fuck you, man. No, I can't choose anything. Uh, I fucking hate you, Lee. Do you hear me? I. I don't know what to do. Don't say anything. He stopped the train. <sighs> Man. What the hell? His mom is for it. Your wife is for it. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. We shouldn't waste time. We shouldn't waste time. There ain't none left to waste. I'm saying we shouldn't stay put. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill, or... Something we can just give him. Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, Touch hon? us, Mark. I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Yeah. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. She you should do it. You don't have to. She God, should do it. Fuck. She I, should do it. I, I can. She understands I can do how this. this works. God, just should do it, Ken. She can handle it. Shut up, Lee. He's right. No, hon, stay with Lee. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. She's stronger than you. I shouldn't do it, because I don't... I'm not... I don't know them, really. I wasn't raised with them, with the kid. Should be the mother. I can't. 
Lee be with him? Talk to Kenny. What's happening? Kaja's just taking care of Duck. Kaja's taking care of Duck. I thought he was going to die. She's killing him. She's killing him. For good? Yes. So he doesn't come back. Look, Clem. Things are... No. God! This will never happen to you. This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Damn, that sucks, man. Your son's dead. Well, he had to die. For the best of the group. He was just gonna come back as a zombie. <laughs> She's dead? Get! Get! Gotcha! She killed herself because she couldn't kill her Why? son. Cat. Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> we still have to deal with Duck. Still have to deal with Duck. Yeah, he's out of it. He's really, really... He's just not himself. What do we do? You do it. It's her son. You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put him into it. You're the dad. He's your blood. You make sense. You have to do it. That was a good scene. Pretty dramatic. Well written. Well acted. Very good. You wanna talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? 
Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Oh. I'm pretty mad. You talk like that about a talk like that to a girl. Little, hey, little kid. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl anymore. Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son. I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? I figure it out. We find a boat. We do what's best for Clementine. We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. I do. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Cause like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Protect yourself. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Take a breath, hold it, and fire. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Hmm. Oh, I can't tell left or right. Keep it steady. Higher? Oh, don't lock your elbows. Hmm, little left. Keep it steady. Uh, higher? 
high. Give it steady. Uh, lower? Hey, hey. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Gotta cut your hair, though. Your hair's too long. What's this? It's a fifth of whiskey. A fifth. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like. You'll it's called tinnitus. To what a crappy day. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I'm gonna look around. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. All right. Let's see what we can see. They look clean enough. Oh, scissors. Talk to Clementine. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Cut hair. Mind if we do this Sorry. Way? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? No idea. Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. So it's good that I told her earlier. Uh, killing is bad no matter what. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute, and a lot harder to grab. I feel kinda bad cutting her hair, but it's for the best. Yes? Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. Wait, wait, wait. Be safe up here. You betcha. I can give him the drink. Alcoholic. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. 
Maybe Kenny, I guess. Hey. You want a drink? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's going to go for it. All right. Well, I'm going to get the map. Mine. Now what? What side? Thanks. Okay. You? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> hey. See ya. What a waste of time. It was me. Mm -hmm. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Oh, what? man. It's all my fault. I could kill you. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody could see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! Do it! I... Please, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Please, please! Do it. Ugh. I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Oh, that... Hey. Oh, you... Let's see what Kenny says. I'm gonna tell him. a weird camera view. Well, I guess I can't tell Kenny about it. Oh. Map. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is... You and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> good. We should go our own way. We should go our own way when we get there. The crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. What about the boat? What about Ben? He'll be fine. Ben? Okay. Can we at least look for my parents when we get there, before we go? Oh, well, they're dead. They're dead. We have to move on. They're not dead. Do you want them to be? <laughs> we need to separate from the group. We'll look for your parents first. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Don't cry. I feel bad. If we don't find them, we can go. But if we do, they come with us. Okay. That's the plan. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And unless Savannah is somehow walker free, we know we want to stay out of town. Are we going to have to live in the woods? You don't like the woods? I don't like the woods. Well, what I think we should do, after we look for your mom and dad, is head north. Keeping water, the, the ocean on our right side. So we can't get surprised by walkers. Exactly. I like the beach. Good. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. 
They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. Okay. Problem. What? What is it? Fuck, 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 fuck! What the hell? Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. To find trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, and it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of him. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Leads up to that wreck tanker. Why is there even an option to look at it? Just have me climb up the damn thing. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey dude, I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. We're not in the mood for new people. We're not really in the meeting and greeting mood. I just came up here to see about the tanker. Well, there it is. Oh, shit. God damn, you guys have a kid. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit. What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See, hm. things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I've been with her. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny is... fine. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. 